everybody. Welcome to Country Girl. In today's video, I'm going to be putting together two different Christmas gifts. Um, the first one is going to be for a teen, and then the second one is going to be a stocking that I'm putting together for um, one of the attorneys at my work. I have talked about this in other videos. And so I just thought it would be nice for me to record um, me putting those things together to show you how I do that and to possibly help give you some ideas on something that you might want to do for somebody. But the first one I'm going to put together is for the little teen gift. And I did purchase some of this stuff at the Dollar Tree, but I didn't purchase everything at the Dollar Tree. So I do want to put that out there first to let you know that. Um, and it's the same thing with the other gift as well. But um, just to start out, I want to show you this adorable bag. I got this little bag at Marshall's tonight, and it is just so cute. I cannot stand it. Um, I normally don't buy gift bags anywhere but the Dollar Tree just because I'm not, I don't like to spend the extra money and the Dollar Tree just has such great gift bags, but I could not resist this little uh, gift bag and it was only $1.79, so that's another reason why I picked it up, but um, I mean this is just like too cute and this little, um, this little tag here is your gift tag, but these handles are actually like a really um, thick ribbon. So I just thought this was super cute. It's got, you know, perfect for um, little teen girls that's going to, do, going to do a gift exchange. Um, the little kitty cats are on the front and they're just, you know, sharing a cup of hot cocoa with each other. So I got that because I just couldn't resist. But I, just, I already put everything in the bag, but I'm gonna take it out and show you what it is and then I'm gonna put it back together. But um, the other item that I purchased at Marshall's while I was there is these little lights here. Now, Marshall's had, in my area, they had bukus of tables set out that had all kinds of Christmas gifts on them. They still had the aisles that you could go down, but um, they just, sometimes like they took stuff out of the aisles, just kind of like put it in the middle of the store, and each table was themed like baths and bath salts and soaps and stuff like that. Another one may have been games. Um, you know, some may have been like, you know, coffee mugs that has different little treats and candies and stuff in them. So that way you can kind of walk around in there. But I did also go down the aisles as well. But it was just almost overwhelming. And I will have to say that my trip to Marshall's, I enjoyed it more than I did my trip to TJ Maxx the other night. But anyway, this was on one of the tables. And this is a thing that these kids are getting into right now. It's these little, um, looks like little fairy lights. But they've got the little clothespin clips on them. And this particular set, they have a little button so you can see it. But this set changes colors. Um, some of the ones that they have got that um, they sell just has the standard, you know, warm glow um, of like a regular light. And those are the ones that like Madeline has. I'm pushing the button here. I hope y'all can see it. I don't think it's supposed to flash. It's just my fingers not holding it down um, to get all the colors to change. But it goes, I think it's green, blue, red, yellow. I mean, it just goes through several different colors. And it probably tells you on here how many it is. It says there's 16 clear photo clips, 24 color changing LED lights. Um, it's 10 foot in length and it's silver wire. Let's see. It doesn't really say how many colors, but you get enough. And this is just really cute, and Caitlin liked it. She said she wanted me to go back and get her a set. Um, I may suggest that for somebody else in my family to get her because that child's got enough for Christmas. But anyway, so I picked that up, and that was only $7.99. So to go with that, and this was like a $15 gift. I did purchase this little um, bath bomb at the Dollar Tree. I have hauled these before. This is the Little Mermaid one. I thought that would be really cute to put in there with that. Um, I also picked up a pair of these little fuzzy socks at the Dollar Tree because um, kids in their age, they absolutely love these fuzzy socks. Whenever they have to write down things that they want for Christmas or their birthday, it's usually fuzzy socks and blankets. So anyway, can't go wrong with those. And then the last thing that I picked up was this little stationery set. And um, I did put a picture out on Instagram, I think, of these when I saw them in the store. But I did not pick them up at that time. Um, but when I was in there at night, I thought this would go perfect with this. But this little thing here is a journal. Not a journal, I'm sorry. It's an undated planner, and it says the future is bright. Um, I haven't opened this up yet. I don't want to open it up because I don't want to mess up the gift. But um, it's not really overly large, which is good. Um, you know, big enough to fit into a little book bag. And being that it is undated, 60 sheets, um, they should be able to fill in whatever they want to, you know, for the upcoming year. With that, um, I got these little planner stickers. 
And then it shows on the back all the stickers that you get in the planner or in this little pack. It's 175 count stickers. And then I picked up this cute little magnetic um, notepad and they don't have to use the magnet if they don't want to. But this actually separates into two different um, pieces. You could tear this bottom part off and then this part here also can be um, another little separate note. And I just thought that was cute. Let's talk about your priorities. And then the last thing that I got to go with that was these little magnets. Save the drama for your llama. And I'm not sure what this says up here because it's covered. Um, but the last one says, talk to the palm. And I didn't even know they had one on the back, I think, when I originally took that picture. So I thought this was a really cute gift to give a teen. You know, and if you have somebody that you need to do something like that for, if you're a girl, if you have girls that um, have friends that they want to give gifts to for Christmas, and this is a $15 gift, but if you have something, you could break this apart. Um, you know, if you wanted to give like a cheaper gift, you know, give one one kid something like this, maybe the socks and the bath bomb to another child, and then, you know, the little lights, but go to Marshall's because they have such good items, and you can get so many things for $10, $5, things like that, so that is what is going into this little gift bag here, and all I'm going to do um, is just put some tissue down at the top of this, and um, I probably, I don't know if I'll let Caitlin fill, I guess she can fill this tag out. I hate filling these tags out because I feel like if they want to reuse this bag, you know, they'll have to tear the little tag off, which, you know, I don't guess it's any big deal. So, I'm just going to put some tissue paper in here and this gift is done. So, anyway, I want to show you that. Alright, the next gift that I am doing, um, and I haven't done anything with this yet, so um, this might take me a while to do. Um... I think what I'll do is I'll start out showing you what all I've got, and then I will um, let you, you know, do like a time lapse or something at the end of me putting it together. So the general idea behind this gift was to create a stocking and just stuff it with all kinds of goodies. Um, I know that I'm one of these people, I like to get like a variety of different things. I mean, I like to get, you know, one gift too, but I also just feel like when you get a variety of different little surprises, it just makes things more exciting. I know that my girls really love their stockings when they get up on Christmas morning. It's the first thing they go to, so I just thought, you know what, this would be nice. Um, I don't know how long it's been since this particular person has gotten the stocking that her mother still make her one. I don't know, but um, I got this stocking here, and I did buy, purchase this at TJ Maxx um, when we went out, and this was $9.99. But I wanted to get something that, you know, looked, you know, really elegant and everything. And this is fur. It's very pretty. Um, but then after I started realizing all the things that I was going to put in this, I thought, I don't know that everything I got is going to fit in this stocking. So while I was at um, TJ Maxx, I also decided um, what I was going to do. And like I said, I haven't put any of this together so things could change. I'm not really sure how all this is going to work out. But I did pick up this um, little basket here. And um, this is one of these little collapsible baskets, but it stays up pretty good. But anyway, it's just got the sweater material um, on it. And, you know, this is really pretty and shiny. This was only $8. I think they had another one that was a different color, and it was more expensive. It was like $12.99 or something like that. But it's got this print inside, and this is like a canvas. So it's made really good, and this is wire all the way around. So I thought um, what I was going to do is after I fill up the stocking with all the things that I could put in the stocking, I'm going to put the stocking on one side of this, and then all of the items that would not fit into the stocking, I am going to put on the other side. And then that's how we're going to present that to her. I'm going to go through and show you all the things that we got. Now, the uh, amount of money that we had collected with the, from the staff was supposed to total about $100. So... I think it was actually a little bit more than 100 but not much, and that's fine. You know, I mean, I want this to look nice, so that's what we're doing. All right, so I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to show you each thing that I've picked up, and then, like I said, we'll put that together. So the first thing I did, uh, Bath & Body Works was having their candle sale. I didn't go crazy on candles. I bought three. Um, one for me, one for a friend of Madeline's, and then one for this attorney, um, or for this gift. This one is called Sparkling Icicles, and I really like the um, lid and everything on that. And if y'all don't know, you can reuse these jars, and I have done that, and they are 
wonderful. These little things are stickers and they'll peel off. And once you get done with your candle, you can scrape all that out, wash it out, and then use this as a container to put cotton or something like that in. I've actually taken the clear um, candlesticks from the Dollar Tree and glued them on the bottom with E6000 glue and then taken the little uh, rhinestone looking tape or ribbon and put it around the lid and you can give that away as a Christmas gift to somebody. You can fill it up with snow, make you a cute little scene in here. So repurpose these things for sure. But anyway, I did pick this up. Um, I think that her colors are like teal um, and lavender. And so um, it's not exactly teal, but I think it matches good enough. And then while I was there, I was also able to pick this little base up at a really good deal using my coupon. And I don't know if you could tell, but this is really, uh, it's like an iridescent. Um, and you just set your candle in, inside of this. So I thought that was really pretty. So those, this is something that we have gotten for her. I also picked up a pair of these leather gloves, and she may have some gloves. I'm sure she does, but when it comes to gloves, it's like with anything else, you know, with tape and scissors and markers and everything else that I always say gets missing. You can never have too many um, because gloves tend to get missing, and they're something that's hard to keep up with. It's also nice to have an extra pair handy in your glove department, so I figured we can't go wrong with them even if she did have some gloves. But these are black leather gloves, and I did get an extra large because they fit my hands well, and I'm wanting to say her hands are a little bit bigger than mine, but I'm not positive. I hope they can fit her. If they don't, you know, we will take those back, you know, or I'll get her, give her the receipt so she can return those or whatever. These gloves are $20, and they are um, Adrian. I'm going to let you look at this. I'm not a big person on name brand stuff, so I can't tell you what... I mean, some things I can, you know, I know who Calvin Klein is, but for the most part, you know, these other people, I don't know. I, I just don't care about stuff like that. So, um, I assume if it's at TJ Maxx and it's got these little things and looks all fancy that it must be somebody, you know, important. Um, also, I picked this up at the Dollar Tree to put the candle in. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it yet. Again, it just all depends on how I'm putting it together, but I did want to have it, so just in case I decided to use it, I could. And I like the little snowflakes on this. I think it matches the candle perfect. Um, so I may use that for packaging, but I did pick that up from the Dollar Tree. And these boxes are the perfect size for Bath & Body Works candles. So if you have any that you're gifting to people, go out and get you one of these boxes to put it in, and then your gift is completely wrapped and done. Um, something else that I picked up for her, uh, because I want to make this just like a stocking I would do for my girls. Um, of course, you got to have candy if you're going to have a stocking. And so I picked up this Godiva chocolate. It's milk chocolate truffles. And this was $4.99. So um, milk chocolate with creamy milk chocolate filling. I just don't feel like you can go wrong with this. Not sure how many is in this bag, but, you know, it's enough. And I don't know if I'm going to take this out of the bag and just sprinkle it down through her stocking. I probably will just to save on space because I want to try and get as much in her stocking as I can. Um, but anyway, so I picked that up. I did pick up a mermaid um, tail bath bomb at the Dollar Tree. So I had thought that I had just gotten a, a round one, but, you know, she's a girly girl, so she'll like this. So I picked that up. Also, she drinks wine, and I thought this was cute. This is just a little wine uh, stopper, little cork, and it says cheers on here. So I picked that up to put into her stocking. Um, I wanted to get her some hand lotion, so I did get her the, which this isn't the one I was going to give her. I didn't think. Well, anyway, I, there was three that I had purchased. Um, one was Winterberry. Um, one was caught cocoa, and then one's peppermint. Evidently, I pulled this one out to give to her. This is the peppermint one, um, but I had thought that I was going to give her the, the berry one, so I don't know. I may switch that out, but I did get this, and this was like $2 or something. Um, it was near the checkout when you go through those lines at TJ Maxx. Um, something else that I picked up for her was, I felt like I've not got everything that I picked up, but maybe it just don't look like as much as I thought. So um, I did get these uh, three Yes 2 masks to put into the stocking as well. Um, the sleeping mask, there's one for vitamin C, one for calming, and then one for moisturizing. And these are all sleeping masks. So I'm not sure how well those work, but I thought that would be neat to put in there as well. 
Um, I got this journal. It's called, well, it's not really, I guess it is a journal. It's called Daily Mindfulness, a guided journal. And this I picked up at um, Marshall's tonight. And I'm wanting to say this was $7.99, but it may have been $4.99. I already took the stickers off of them. But basically, it's just a journal that you can go to every day. And it's kind of like things in here to cause you to be mindful of taking care of yourself. And so, um, I think she's into, into stuff like this from other things that I have heard. You know, because I try and listen to people when they talk so that I can kind of catch hints and stuff. But they have a daily mindfulness chart here. And it gives, it's just ask you different questions like, how can I be present? How can I be more healthy? How can I challenge myself? How can I be open to change? How can I help someone? How can I feel successful? How can I deal with stress? How can I be more focused? Um, then over here it says, um, creating new habits. What uh, gave me the most joy today? Uh, what caused me the most stress today? What I need to let go? What I find successful? So it's kind of like ways at the end of the day to kind of like write these things down, I think that the way this is designed, you um, start out in the morning maybe with your goals for the day and pumping yourself up and talking about the things you like about yourself and things like that. And then what your plan is gonna be for that day. And then at the end of the day, I think you kind of like check in to see how well you did. Um, and it just kind of you know, makes you, like I said, more mindful of yourself because a lot of times we get so wrapped up in taking care of other people and doing so many different things, we just forget about us. So I don't know. I just thought this was really neat and something different, and I think that that will be something that she would enjoy. So I did get that, and I wanted to get some pens to go with it. And so when I was getting ready to check out, I saw these, and this is uh, Ray Dunn. I know who Ray Dunn is. Um, I'm not particularly into all that. You know, it's just not that I don't think it looks nice. I just... It's just not my thing. But I thought, well, you know, this is somebody. <laughs> so these pens are really neat. It says write, create, and edit. And so I thought those were kind of neat, especially given those as a gift. And those were $7.99. So I did get that to put with her little notebook here. And um, when I had went to the Dollar Tree, I had done another Dollar Tree haul, and I had hauled a puzzle that I had gotten, and I had hauled another puzzle for her. And I just thought this would be something neat to put in there because, you know, you never know when someone's, you know, if we get more snow or, you know, especially over the holidays and stuff, if you've got time to be at home or if you've got friends over. Sometimes, you know, people can put up a puzzle and work on it for a whole entire week and people can come over and one or two people can find a few pieces to your puzzle. They might not stay with you until it's completely done, but people, as they come in and out, might put a few pieces here and there until your puzzle's complete. So, I don't know. I just thought this was something neat and something she might enjoy doing, so I am going to put that in there as well. Um, something else, and I'm not giving away, you know, I'm not going to tell who what her name is, but I, of course you're going to see it starts with a J. Um, but I just, I wanted to get her a little compact mirror. I already had one picked out that had a lot of rhinestones on in it and a butterfly. And then when I saw this one, I just liked it better. Um, it is like a rose gold color. And I just thought, you know, it was a little bit more sleek and not quite as gaudy. So I figured that that would be something that she would like. So I did um, pick that up for her. I haven't taken it out of the box yet, but, you know, I'm going to assume that it's got the um, two sides. You know, the one magnifying mirror and then the other side is normal. But this one was also $7.99. I thought that was really pretty. So I'm sticking that down in her stocking. And then I picked up one of these little mugs from the Dollar Tree because she likes hot chocolate. So um, instead of buying like a hot chocolate kit and things like that, I just took two out of the gift set that I had purchased. And I picked out the mint chocolate and the um, caramel cream or caramel cream because these are my two favorites. And so all I'm going to do with that is just stick this down into the cup so that she can have that. And then... Um, not sure if she has marshmallows, but I just put a few little marshmallows in here, just enough for a couple of, you know, cups of cocoa. And, um, you know, just sticking that down in there, and then I'm putting the lid on it, and I'm going to stick that in there. And this would be a really cute gift to give somebody. Just stick you a couple hot chocolates in there and some marshmallows, and you're good to go. So I've got that, too. Something else that I also picked up while I was at the Dollar Tree was some bells. I'm going to tie two or three of those to the little hook on her stocking um, so that, you know, she'll have that 
for the extra decoration. And then the last thing is I got a card for everybody to give to her, and I did show you this on another haul. Um, I just picked this one because I thought this was really cute and whimsical, so we're all going to sign that, everybody in the office, and then I'm going to take that and tote that down to the basket and give that to her as well. But I'm going to go ahead and put this gift together, and then I'm going to have them both at the end so that you can see what they all, you know, this this gift and the other one looks like um, once it's complete. Mm -hmm.